I am the goddess of blood. I control all blood in the universe. My father conceived me to apply justice to the earth below. It is my duty to keep the peace, to keep blood flowing through people's veins. With one look, I can cause your blood to clot and run cold. Though fear me not, as I can be gentle. I often accompany my sister, the goddess of death, to warm those in their last moments. I take the blood from the undeserving and grant to those who have lost, saving their lives and keeping a balance in this world. Throughout the thousands of years, I have had many lovers, but my one true love was a mortal that wielded the power of fire. He captured me in my human form, but when he found out that I would not perish in the flames, he began to worship me, and I warmed him, and he became my first true love. However, my father was ashamed and disgraced by the courtship between mortal and God. That night, as I lay beside my dear mage, he sent demons to whisper woe upon me. My father granted me a new power. And I awoke in rage and unleashed my fury. My love held me close as I boiled his blood until the essences of fire and magic escaped from him. And since then, I am cursed. Whenever I take my human form, the sky is blazing with red to remind me of my sin and to remind me of him. And I know that I can capture his spirit even if I have to go to the keepers of death and decay, to the gods and goddesses of unknown lands, my mage, I will return you to this world. I will wage a war that will see no end to blood. For you, my love, I would pay the price that has destroyed many before. I will go before my father, and I will drown him in crimson. And to those who stole you from me, demons and gods alike, prepare for your blood to run cold, for I will not rest until you have returned, my beloved mortal, my love.